I played Apex Legends for 17 hours straight, trying to see how much I could master Apex's most hated weapon, aka the charge rifle, in one sitting. My randoms and I started off my session by landing at Overlook. Of course, my number one goal was to find a charge rifle, but even finding the damn thing was half the battle. But I think this first play here really portrays how this whole day went. Um, um, you're joking. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna go back up. What the fuck just happened, dude? Huh. No joke, I then went on this whole game without finding one charge rifle. This first game really made me think that I was not gonna make much progress. Zero charge rifle. Gate number two was a lot better. You wanna know why? Because I got a charge rifle. Nope, just kidding, no charge rifle. After game two, it was about 40 minutes in and I got no charge rifle yet. So I didn't really have high hopes for this challenge. Finally, after 40 minutes, my dumbass realizes I should play Loba, it'd be a lot easier to find a charge rifle. Oh, works out. No, bruh! I was finna Kermit, but I realized it doesn't matter who the Loba is, as long as there's a Loba shop. So once you finally put it down, I check the shop. Charge rifle! Yes! Finally! Now, if you guys don't know how this mastery stuff works, if I just hold the weapon, if I just hold it, it'll give me a, a load of points. I was excited to take my first shots, but I realized how toxic it felt. I mean, hate the game, not the player. But I feel like I just need to apologize. I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention that I actually started off this challenge with my charge rifle being at level 3, which was no big deal. But I got to hold it for a decent amount in this game, and finally leveled it up for the first time. How much did I get, though? How, how many points did I get? I held it for a long time. 311. I'm gonna be here all day. Things were starting to look up though because I was finally able to play Loba. What the? What the hell's going on? Loba once again got snagged. I was about an hour and a half in and I still wasn't able to play Loba. I was low key losing my shit, but it's fine. They popped their shop multiple times, but no charge rifle. But luckily, in my next game, I was able to pick Loba. The whole game, I was just waiting for my shop to be ready just to find that charge rifle and. I didn't even need to use my shot. Nah, I'm just kidding. I wasn't actually mad. I was actually very happy to find it. But when I tell you, I am not lying. When I say I think I held the charge rifle almost the whole game. Like, this was just a perfect game. It was all long-range fights. And in the end, I leveled it up to level 6. I will tell you what, that was an amazing game. We're at level 6 already. Once again, I just kept running into more problems. Bruh! I was doing whatever it takes to hold that charge rifle as long as I could. You would have never caught me holstering it, even in the storm. I mean, like, Apex literally gives you a message in the storm to fucking holster your weapons. I said, nah, fuck that, Apex. I need these points. A lot of camping and a lot of charge rifling going by. And after about two and a half hours, I hit level seven. Check the points. Let's go. Level up. For the next 30 minutes, nothing really interesting happens. I had a few good games with the charge rifle, though, which ultimately led to me hitting level eight. Level eight. Nice. Depression was starting to set in. For the next hour, I really struggled finding a charge rifle, and I just kept dying in stupid ways. When I tell you, all I wanted was the damn blue armor. Hell broke loose, but things got better. Jordan hopped on to help me out, and I had gotten my first win of the day. No way. Let's go! Let's go! And with that, four hours in, my charge rifle was at level 10. Come on, Alright. The charge rifle is now level 10. Jordan and I's session started off great. I was picking Loba, he was picking Pathfinder. Everything went perfect. <clears throat> no! You fucking About one hour later, five hours into the challenge, I eventually leveled up the charge rifle to level 11. Charge rifle up to level 11. Damn, uh... About another hour goes by, six hours into the challenge, after this rampart basically obliterated my whole team. Got the spot. Damn, rampart! The charge rifle was now at level 12. Charge rifle's up to level 12. I want a charge rifle now. Jordan had to go do something real quick, so he suggested that I play the game by myself. And this game had a crazy end game. Just watch. I fell and I said. Keep up on this guy because he's good. No! No! <gasps> no! 
no way that just happened, bro. Fast forward 20 minutes, and I found this pretty cool rat spot, and I thought, might as well, I gotta rack these points up. But Jordan, of course, the little hornball he is, had to say this. I found the best rat spot, dude. Come here. Oh, damn, bro. This angle. Holy fuck. I gotta take a picture of this. You're about to, you're about to Hold on. No, no, no. Stay still. All right. <laughs> Oh my god. Good news though, Jordan's horniness actually brought us our third win of the day, which in the end leveled up my charge rifle once again. Oh, bitch. Oh, oh, there's more than one. Of course there's more than one. Nice. Oh, bad. Good stop, dude. Level 13. Now, this was a big moment. Not for the challenge, but for Jordan. Jordan has his struggles. He doesn't play super often, but he plays a decent amount. And this game, something crazy happens that doesn't usually happen with Jordan. Just watch. Oh, I got the other one. I mean. Got one on me. I, I got him. That was really satisfying. <gasps> I'm gonna kill later. No way! Oh my god, I'm so happy for you, dude. <laughs> Fucking Leave a comment below right now and just just congratulate Jordan. He really needs it. I swear to God, he hasn't gotten kill leader in like a fucking year. Anyway, Jordan, your four kill kill leader is cute and all, but you're gonna have to let Daddy work because I'm gonna take that back. This end game gets crazy, and this may or may not be for two in a row. Knocked him, knocked him. Oh man, I like this. Oh God, like circle. This. I don't want someone to get the notification. Shoot! Someone got the notification. I got him. I don't think. But there was a guy. I'm stuck. Oh, oh. Oh. We get up there. Give me your damn kill leader. That game also got me level 14. Let's go! About eight hours into the challenge, Jordan ends his session there. This is definitely where I got most challenging. Time was flying by when I had another person there, but when I was alone, it, it just felt like forever. My strategy started to become just queuing up in duos no fill, finding a charge rifle as fast as I can, and just, just camp. Even though I was feeling pretty drowsy at this point, something would just click and the inner apex god in me would make plays like this. Holy, but also I'd make dumb plays like this. Off. Oh, hey. The leveling up really started to slow down. After each game, I started to forget to check the progress on the charge rifle because I was not mentally there in these hours. So I don't know exactly when I hit level 15, but about three hours later, I saw that my charge rifle showed level 15. I've been playing all fucking day and I'm at level 15 on the damn charge rifle. Some of you may know about the guy that already reached level 100 on the charge rifle. Two things I want to say about that. Number one, that's crazy impressive. Like, I can't imagine doing that. Number two, you need to get off the game. Go on a walk. Anyway, about 13 hours into the challenge, I finally reached level 16. Level 16, let's go. An hour and a half of a lot of camping goes by. It's about 8 or 9 a.m. at this point, and I was about to fall asleep in my chair. About 15 hours into the challenge, my footage gets a little weird. What? It's like skipping every other frame. I don't know what it's doing, but you didn't miss much. The most you probably missed was about a mediocre four kill win. But after 17 long hours, I finally decided I had to stop. In the end, I leveled it up to... Basically level 18. It was a sliver away from level 18, but I could not function properly. I had to end it there. Did I have a lot of fun doing this challenge? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Uh, was it worth it? Mm, fuck no.